This is Pop Gibberish. I'm Joe. I'm Shay. And today we're watching the second show of Abbott Elementary. Yes, we're watching the second episode. So uh, the, in the first episode, just a quick recap, uh, we got introduced to the characters. Uh, Janine is a younger uh, teacher and we had a sub that came in for a um, teacher that was fired for fighting a student she punted a student oh okay. yeah punted. <laughs> that so was, she, that's what was on the report right she kicked the student um so she was freaking out and yeah we just got introduced to all the characters and uh the principal is pretty wacky so we're gonna expect to see some crazy things from her uh in this episode but yeah we're just gonna get into it and see what the second episode was i wasn't wild from the first one so hopefully just this second pilot. episode yeah, yeah it was the pilot so i'm giving it a few episodes to kind of grow on me so we'll see but yeah let's jump into it 10 seconds Ooh, oh we love action news we get in early just to watch it it just calms you down after wanting to take a wrench to someone's side mirror in traffic uh, oh wow <laughs> going fishing with my friends anyways toilet paper's in my closet i saw it <laughs> maybe that's why she was fixing a toilet at the end of the episode. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Where's the sign? Oh, this is the intro. Never mind. I be in and out of town with my bros still wilding on these hoes. They the cons, we the pros. Tariq. Oh my God. Oh. That is so good. And you recorded that last night? Yeah, yeah. Did it in like 15 minutes. It's nothing. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, he's very, very good. Um, all of his TikToks go viral, which nowadays is the true mark of a great musician. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm yeah. so proud of you. Thank you. Maybe I could come. Oh, no, 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 you can't come because they got a strict capacity thing oh. and it's 15 people. So if you come, then it's 16 and then it's a fire. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, baby. All right. Ooh, you got that seat far up. You know I'm sure. Damn. Okay. Ugh. All right, baby, I got to get going. I'm hungry <laughs> as hell. And although it is that hunger that keeps me going, I gotta eat something. Okay, well, why don't you just take my breakfast sandwich? Huh? Yeah, I'll get some. Oh, baby. Yeah, I'll get some in there. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. I love you. I love you too. Yeah. Um, look, we didn't get to discuss this last mm. week. You were making the hits, but our rent is going up, so mm -hmm. we need to redo the budget. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see what's going on there with that. What? Melina? What's wrong? I don't want to walk down the hallway, Miss Janine. It's scary. Don't worry, Melina. I actually am going to get to it, unlike janitors and boyfriends. Oh, what? Huh? <laughs> Just come on. Overshare. Branzino is this? That is a very powerfully smelling <laughs> fish. To... Who brought that? <laughs> I think she's the best cook in the family. Oh. I'm going to show her in a non threatening way. I'm going to look cuter than her, too. She brought a casserole dish with. Raw fish and it's alert. Right. From your class. Yeah, she was afraid to come to school this morning. Said it looked like The Shining. And I don't even get how she knows that reference. She loves it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, and I already talked to Mr. Johnson and he said there isn't anything he can do. What? See, I just can't accept this. You know, they didn't see those kids' faces. It was like they walked into the haunted mansion at Disney, which is a very scary ride, by the way. <laughs> Everything gets sticky. What? We don't want to get sticky, do we? Um, inappropriate. Y'all are getting this, right? <laughs> I like the fact that he's break that he's not like just letting that he's like, what well, you all are seeing that this is sexual harassment, right? Right. She seems busy. Oh, sure. Come on in. Thanks. <laughs> Guess he's the cat's meow, huh? The more senior teachers are just used to giving in, but I, however, did she just go get a, a ladder right herself? They keep the ladder. Forgot I was afraid of ladders. Afra afraid of ladders. <sighs> that was just my stuff. It has exposed wires. Oh, oh, look at this. It was just a loose wire. Yeah. Best thing to do in these situations is to stay calm and then we'll Okay, talk. this is it, y'all. The end times. It's three months early, but it's happening. Three months early. <laughs> Gregory is the only person that can stay in my bunker, so stop asking. 
Hell yeah, I'm a dude day prepper. <laughs> why wouldn't I be? I don't know why more people aren't. <laughs> Poor you Gregory. Seen song with the fast ass zombies. <laughs> that day is <laughs> I love Trey that Busan. Day soon comes. Where'd she get the camouflage jacket from? Everybody, please head to the gym. We've got bigger fish to fry now. Oh, Jesus, my Branzino. Everybody out of the way. Out of the way. <laughs> please hold me. I feel like I'm one wobble away from death. I'm time. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Am I doing it? No. Let's go to the counter three. Okay. One, two, three. Those shoes, though. <laughs> This is all my fault. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have tried to do the job of a newly graduated DeVry student, but... <laughs> a newly graduated DeVry student. Aren't you going to lunch, Janine? Uh, no, I'm gonna stay and help the lunch ladies with lunch. The lunch ladies don't like you. She always coming in the kitchen saying hello and whatnot. It's unsanitary. <laughs> She's not gonna let it go. You're not gonna... Let it go, are you? No, I'm not gonna let it go, Jacob. Okay. <laughs> I need to right my wrong. Okay, well, count me out. I never counted you in. Well, then count me in because <laughs> I don't have any lunch plans. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he make sitting in anything so Can awkward? We, talk now, please? <laughs> we could. Uh, okay, what's that say? End of the road. It's so hard to say goodbye. <laughs> Motown. Uh, those are songs. It's ironic. <laughs> We're going to. <laughs> no! Oh, no. Why? Janine, what did you do? Looking like who shot John. Barbara, look, I know you told me to let it go, but I couldn't. <laughs> Jacob, help me open the breaker. There was a chance to support a strong black woman. Uh. <laughs> can't do this stuff. What had you come to work today and lose your mind? Okay. I just uh, oh. fail like a zombie. You know, they eat the hottest people first. Let me back my taste <laughs> here. Uh. Hey, I'm going to get some water out of the fridge. Oh, it's still cold. Oh, my God, my Branzino. Barb, excuse me. I'll be back. She'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my class? Is, is everyone okay? Obviously, everyone's not okay. You're in the nurse's office. Oh. But everybody else is fine. She, wow. she seems pretty upset about that. <laughs> Hope she don't treat the students like that. Sounds like everybody's got the same... Uh... <laughs> I, she, she's just chilling. <laughs> As usual. Yeah. Oh, look who's back in the land of the living. <laughs> well, as Melissa would say, snitches get stitches. That is correct. But I'm not talking to you on account of you killing my Branzino. <laughs> All that at-home stuff, you gotta leave it right at that door. Otherwise, you open up a whole nother Panera's box of problems. I think you mean <laughs> Panera's box. No, I'm pretty sure it's Panera's box. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your help earlier, Mrs. Howard. Awkward interactions come with it. So you've got to learn how to say what you need to get what you want. Mm -hmm. She should be principal. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Tariq, um, listen. You need to look at the budget tonight. No more waiting, no more practicing. Tonight. Have you eaten? Oh, no, the uh, lunch lady gave me that can of peaches, but no can open. <laughs> <laughs> it's so petty. <laughs> hmm. hey, we're just gonna go get something to eat. Oh, great, I'll join. Oh, after school. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking this janitor is going to be like the standout. Now I have to find something to do before my shift starts. Thank you. Thank you, actually. Oh. Just doing my job. Well, you're doing it well.
<laughs> he can't get a break, can he? Right. I think he. Mm. You sure follow orders. <laughs> Just doing my job. <laughs> doing it well. <laughs> It's a trip, though. Wow. I can see her getting wackier and zanier as the season oh goes Oh, my on. goodness. I don't know how. It's it's one of those things where it's like a slow slow burn. As the writers kind of get to know these characters, they're going to start writing weird stuff for them. Yeah. And usually when it's an, a comedic actor or actress that's, like, playing the role, they usually start having input on how they think the character will act. Mm -hmm. And they just... It just blossoms from there. Okay. If okay. if they have a good writer's room. Okay. So we'll see. We'll okay. see. But yeah, this this episode was a whole lot better. Yeah. Um, and I'm starting to see the a little little hint of what people are saying about the show. And uh, yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Because uh, I mean, it's been it's been recommended by two different people that I know. Mm -hmm. And um, and generally the ones that the stuff that they've suggested has been things that I liked. So. Awesome. This was all right. Awesome. What do you think? I like it. I like it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it's an, it's not a whole lot like of Too things easy. to talk about from this show. We can um, tell that Janine is very, very passionate and she goes above and beyond a little too above and beyond <laughs> yeah yeah she goes to she infinity and lot. beyond yeah she cares a lot and i get her character a lot yeah i can see this happening where she's kind of the um um to compare it to the other shows that I've seen that are similar to this, where it's like the the, the mockumentary type of show, mm -hmm. uh, she's Leslie Nope, uh, the okay. character from uh, Parks and Rec, okay. who's like who does weird things for good reasons mm -hmm. and generally has a good heart, mm -hmm. and but things messed up stuff generally happens yeah. because of these actions or whatever yeah. the case is. So and I can see that being the like kind of the comedic drive for the mm -hmm. show, mm -hmm. and then we have the uh we have uh everybody hates chris actor whatever oh his gregory name. uh tyler yes. his yeah name yeah, is gregory. yeah yeah the show yeah so greg gregory his character is um he's like jim halpert from the office okay so if you were to kind of mix those two together we have leslie leslie nope from parks and rec and then jim halpert from the office mm -hmm. in the same show okay. which arguably are they could be considered kind of like the two not the two like audience stand-in mm -hmm. characters but mm -hmm. they're definitely the characters that most people like identified more with but they weren't the funniest characters of those shows though oh okay so if we were to pick like the funniest character of each one of those shows and then put them those characters into a story mm -hmm. that's when we get probably some real good so we'll, I'm, I'm really waiting for that for the cast to kind of get their equilibrium yeah learn their characters and the the writer's room to kind of learn the characters of the of the cast yeah and them have that symbiotic relationship where they start to really make some like some magic in regards to like the comedy but yeah this this episode was much better than the first one yeah and absolutely. Uh, i'm willing to go in another couple episodes uh and not throw this into the did not finish pile <laughs> sounds good i mean I, so far i like every character um that is playing their part um and i think everyone is doing a really good job yeah you know um I like um, Barb. She's like old school, no nonsense. Yeah. Um, yeah. She gets sh straight to the point with what needs to be done, you know, and she's like a mother figure. Yeah. She, you know? But she plays, that actress, wasn't it? Cheryl, Cheryl Lee? Yeah, uh, Shirley Ralph. Shirley Ralph. Yeah. She plays that type of character in almost everything that she has been in, though, right? Like, that's, I, I see her and I see. Like that black mother figure from 
movies and TV shows. Okay, okay. But I could be wrong. I mean, I know she's done way more stuff. She's like, what, like a Tony uh, nominated award winner or something like that. She, I mean, she's got tons of accolades. She's got tons of work under her belt. So I, she, I know really she has range, yeah. you know, but what I remember her most for are the roles that are like this one. Okay. No nonsense, so, straightforward. Right, yeah, like that kind motherly, of, you know, motherly, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then I believe Melissa, <laughs> she keeps bringing, I guess she's um, good at what she does when it comes to cooking because the previous episode, oh, okay. she had to bake the guy that she... Bake a mazzini. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's, and then, I think that's going into the whole... So the whole Italian mob thing where she's like, <laughs> I have to cook them food. That, that's how she's paying them off. You know, yeah. she's cooking them food, right. you know, that she's right. doing that whole Italian thing, yeah. which they're really leaning into the cliches in this. So, yeah. you know, we got the 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 hipster uh, teacher, youth teacher who's kind of who's done his uh, his uh, teaching abroad in another country. And, you know, he's like quoting Jacob. Yeah, yeah, Jason, he's like he's yeah. like quoting, uh, you know, try, he's basically trying to be woke, uh, essentially. <laughs> um, then you have like you know the the motherly like seasoned teacher. Then you got the kind of the cliched mob wife because you can tell her her husband or if she had, if she has a husband, <laughs> you know, they're probably you know into some nefarious stuff. I know a guy who knows a guy. <laughs> yeah, forget about it. You know that kind of thing. So they're kind of leaning into that these little cliches and tropes, which is is fun. I mean, they're just so, you know. They're do you fun. see um, Janine breaking up with her boyfriend and her oh, definitely Gregory having a thing or yeah. or Gregory and yeah um, Joel's teacher. So okay, so or here's a, not teacher Joel's mother. Joel's is what mother, I yeah. Say. I I can definitely see there being a, um, and this comes from me watching those other mockumentary shows. There seems to be a pattern and a little bit of a template that they are following, mm -hmm. because this is the same relationship that um, Pam and I think I want to say his name was Ron. I can't remember what uh, Pam's. Uh, husband or was fiance was named in uh, the office but they were together first and Jim had a crush on Pam and you could tell that Pam at first she kind of she knew about Jim but she didn't like know him like that but she developed a crush on him mm -hmm. so then it became a thing where they had kind of an office crush it was kind of like this little secret thing and people were shipping Pam and Jim like throughout the show until Ron found out about it. I want to say his name is Ron. I can't remember if it's Ron or not, but we're just going to call him Ron. Ron found out about it and then got upset and they had a fight. Jim and Ron had a fight and then they ended up breaking up. Pam and Ron broke up. Hmm. So then Jim and Pam got spoiler for office. It's been like 15 years almost. It's, it's been a while. I mean, <laughs> but uh, Pam and uh, Pam, that, that's essentially what Pam and Jim got together and became a couple so this seems like the same format as that okay because they're with other people and they're kind of got the oh you know i'm interested in yeah. you but i can't say anything i'm interested in you but I'm, i can't say anything yeah you could tell Tariq is about yeah. to get the boot he it just doesn't even show any commitment that his mm -hmm. character is here yeah. to stay so oh they definitely made his character to be the douchebag <laughs> he's definitely he's on the outs yeah. he's got he's he's the he's the <laughs> like if he was white he'd be the dj that lives with his mom and then moved in with his girlfriend situation that's like that tropey like situation mm. he, in this case he's a he's a he's a rap artist that has been a rap artist since high school <laughs> playing these like little gigs all over the place and then working at like home depot on the side the kind of situation mm. which i mean can't knock the man's hustle but he's definitely taking advantage of of this woman who's been taking care of him this whole time and he hasn't been stepping up to his responsibilities as you can see by the conversation that they were having yeah so but yeah she's yeah she's gonna drop him end up with a crush on gregory well gregory has his crush on her oh yeah so he's, I mean yeah. that that's apparent, and she accepted his invitation to go eat. 
Like, right. You know, and then so. it became a situation where they were, you yeah, know, third wheel type yeah. situation. Yeah. 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 So I could see I could see this being a um a will they won't they almost always always at the wrong time type of situation. Yeah. yeah. People being jealous when they have no right to be jealous, like they're with yeah. somebody but they see the other person with somebody and they're like jealous even though they're already with you know that kind of thing. Right, right. It's that's gonna happen. I could see that happening. Okay. Which okay. Unless they they could surprise us and subvert all of these expectations and subvert all these tropes and do something totally different and make them get together early and then maybe have some funny banter with that. You know, they yeah. could just like skip that whole length of time where they go through all of that and just put them together super early. Possibly. And then work with the whole, you know, work yeah work relationships yeah situation. <laughs> i was gonna say isn't that a conflict of interest you know i'm mean, not necessarily place. a conflict of interest but it's definitely one of those um frowned upon things in workplaces it's workplace it romances hmm. okay oh yeah that's fine but yeah so. we're gonna watch the third episode um how we're gonna watch it right now we're gonna watch watch it later um tbd Okay, so stay tuned, like and subscribe. You'll get a notification when we do drop that third episode. Uh, our patrons will get, definitely get that notification early on the Patreon tier two and up. Uh, thank you again for being a patron. If you are a patron, thank you again for commenting, liking, and subscribing to the channel Pop Gibberish. We got more Abbott Elementary, and we got some some other shows. Uh, so just uh, drop it in the comments below what shows you would like us to react to. If we haven't already seen it, we'll put it on the list. Sounds good. All right. All right. See you next time. See you next time. Bye.